The world of motorcycle Grand Prix racing got its first look at Wayne Rainey in 1984. Fittingly, he was part of Kenny Roberts' first venture into team management, a two-man team in the 250cc class riding Yamahas with Marlborough sponsorship. By the time the circus reached Austria's fearsome Salzburg ring for the fourth round of the World Championship, Rainey had already a rostrum finish and a lap record to his name. But it wasn't an easy baptism. Watch Rainey in third place on the grid. He's still pushing as the field gets away. Used to clutch starts back home in the US, Rainey had difficulty with GP Racing's arcane push starts. This single factor means the record books treat his lone year in the 250s harshly. And then there was the small matter of Christian Saron, Carlos Lovado and Anton Mang to deal with. There's Rainey down in seventh with teammate Alan Carter right behind him. Rainey crashed on lap 10 trying too hard, a rare mistake. Lovado did the same on the last lap and handed the win to Saron who would go on to a decisive victory in the championship. By the time the GPs reached what used to be Yugoslavia, Rainey was seventh in the championship and grabbed his first pole at Rijeka. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. This is the first time this year that I've had fast time at a 250 GP meet. And it's all come down uh, to, to work pretty good here. Is there any particular reason why you're quickest here and haven't been before? Well, uh, there's not much straightaway here. And uh, our bikes seem to work better through the corners than probably most of the bikes do. Uh, our tires are working good and our suspension's working real good. And I feel real comfortable on the racetrack. So maybe that has a little bit to do with it. What about predictions for the race? Well, I'd like to get a good start. And um, if I don't get a good start, try to hang with the leaders. But if I do get a good start, I'd like to just try to ride my own race and, uh, and not try to get pr pressured too much.